Good morning, people, and welcome back to the channel. So today is a very special episode because today we are going to see whether it's safe to travel alone or not. So today I'm here with these two amazing people, Yana and Dasha, and yeah, we are going to interview them and talk about their travel stories. And also, I have a very special announcement at the end of this video. So keep watching and stay tuned to Limitless Nomad. <music> Right now, I'm here with Yana. Yeah, hello. So, where are you from? I'm from Russia. Which city? Uh, actually, I lived eight years in Moscow, but I'm from Izhersk. If you know AK-47 gun. Oh. So, yeah, this gun was made in my city, in Izhersk. <laughs> wow, that's... <Yeah. laughs> Which city are you from? Uh, uh, my name is Dasha, I'm from Russia, from a uh, small city near Moscow, five kilometers from Moscow. The name of the city is Kralyov. Korolov. Korolov. What do you do in Russia? Uh, before, before I was in Russia and uh, I work as an English teacher, usually for small kids. Uh, and uh, I like my job, but now I uh, study in China. But now no, I'm not in China, I am in uh, Vietnam. Uh, but I'm a PhD student in China and uh, this is first my year and I study Chinese. You study Chinese? Yes, I study Chinese. Yeah. And uh, at the end of this year, I'm going to pass uh, some exams, some Chinese exam. And uh, I like to study languages. And, and after you pass these exams, you can teach Chinese? Uh, I think so. Yes, I think. Uh, okay. That's I, cool. Yeah. Nice. But just for kids. Just for kids? For small kids. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living? What I do for a living? Or Interesting question. Actually, no, I do nothing. <laughs> it's a good response, right? <laughs> So what I do for a living? So when I lived in Moscow, I worked as an assistant to the sale manager in SAP CIS. And but then I decided to move to China and work like an English teacher English for teacher. a little kids. Wow. Yeah. So you love kids? Yeah, I love kids. Nice. I like when women like to teach little kids. You know, it's yeah. quite an interesting job for women. So far, how many countries have you traveled? Uh, I've traveled uh, to 34 countries. 34? 34. Wow, 34 wow. countries? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because... Like, uh, how, like, can you name a few? Uh, name of the countries? All, yeah, some also. of them, not all uh, of them. Okay, but in Europe uh, there are a lot of countries and uh, you can visit a lot of countries during the one trip. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, boom. And I did uh, this uh, bicycle trip two years ago and uh, we visited uh, 13 countries or something, but in some of them I was before, in some of them I wasn't. But uh, I traveled a lot because I was an English teacher and I have, I had before a uh, long holiday, three months every year in summer, and uh, usually I spent my summer somewhere not in Russia, somewhere in different countries. That's why I love Which were your favorite? Uh, my favorite, uh, Georgia, I think. Georgia? Uh, Morocco. Wow. Georgia, Morocco, and uh, Vietnam. I, I have a lot of different countries, like in Europe, my favorite one is Macedonia. Mm -hmm. uh, Macedonia. Macedonia. Right. It's not famous one, but it's really good, cute, and uh, people are friendly, and uh, food is tasty and fresh. And uh, I like this country because uh, there are not a lot of tourists now, and oh. not a lot of people know about it, and yeah. uh, it's better. I prefer countries uh, which is not really uh, super uh, famous and uh, not full of tourists. And uh, in Asia, it's I think it's Vietnam and Thailand, and in Africa, it's Morocco. How many countries have you traveled to so far? Uh, actually, I never count, but maybe about twenty, no more. Twenty. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So, yeah. when was your first solo trip, and which country was it? So I was nineteen, I think, and it was Spain, Barcelona. Barcelona. Nice. Yes, it was my first solo trip. How was it? How was your experience? Well, it was great actually. Uh, at first, I was a little bit scared because you know I'm alone. I'm 19. I'm Russian, and I'm mm -hmm. going to Spain. But it actually appeared a very, very interesting country, very safe. So uh, it was an amazing experience actually. Right. Which country did you go to first when you started traveling alone? I mean, your first solo trip. Which country was it, and how was your experience? Mm -hmm. uh, usually, when I was a kid, I traveled to uh, kid camp, like uh, camp 
Okay. Uh, for the kids, and uh, I was alone, but it wasn't really a solo travels because I usually go to some place and uh, every everything we were organized. But uh, 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 first time when I traveled alone was two years ago. Uh, my first country was Vietnam. Uh, I chose Vietnam because at uh, uh, one point it's uh, I have a family in Vietnam, my sister and her nephews. Uh, lives in Moine. Uh, another, it's like I, I think Vietnam is a super safe country for travel, uh, super easy to travel. And so, have you ever felt unsafe during your trip? Unsafe? No, because so Europe and Spain, I think it's quite safe, even for women. But so maybe sometimes lonely, but yeah, because it was alone, of course. <laughs> Did you feel safe when during this trip? Uh, First, it was a little bit difficult for me. I, I was a little bit scared, and uh, first months I spent with my first two weeks I spent with my sister, and then we uh, I went to another city, and I was scared because uh, I was trying to find a bus stop, and I hadn't internet, and uh, I couldn't find it, and uh, a lot of local people were around me, but nobody speak English, and. Uh, I, I cannot ask anybody, it, it was night and uh, I was scared, yeah. but uh, next uh, morning uh, everything was okay, I reached the city I wanted to reach and everything was okay and after that I decided that travel al alone is not so scary as I thought about it uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, if you want to, to start to travel alone, you can choose the country where you was before. Because I was in Vietnam and I know almost everything about Vietnam, about buses, trains and everything. And uh, if you know a lot of stuff about country, it's much more easier to start uh, your solo travel. Yeah. So in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but after a while, after a few days spending in a new country, I'm very sure you will feel very safe. Whichever country you are going to, if you can name one country that you don't think it's safe for women. Ah, wow. What's maybe Iran? <laughs> Iran? Ireland. Iran. Iran. Oh, Iran. Iran. Oh. Iran. Okay. Iran. It's, it's Iran. It's Iran. <laughs> Iran, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's Have you ever felt unsafe during your trip like were you ever in danger uh, in Asia I think no uh, but before I traveled in Europe with my friends it was bicycle trip and uh, I uh, this time I was really really super scared because uh, we were in a uh, train station and uh, we had uh, money like two, two hundred dollars or something but one man uh, so uh, that we have money and decided to steal our money and um, oh. uh, uh, we were together with my friend and she went uh, to change money or something and I was alone with two bicycles and uh, this man uh, started to come to me and I was so afraid and I started oh, to wave my, my friends oh, let's go let's go we need to go uh, but she didn't understand me and then she understood and uh, started to run and this man also started to run and uh, but my friend uh, she was faster and we just took our bicycle and uh, uh, wow. went away but it was really scared uh, for me and uh, I decided that I need to prepare for it to, to take some stuff like uh, where I can attack some and other people oh. but it was in Europe and after this bicycle trip I decided that uh, in Europe it's much more uh, dangerous to travel alone than in Asia in Asia I think e everything is super safe and uh, I choose Asia because like uh, people here is more friendly and uh, every time you can ask anybody to help you and everybody will be super 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 happy to help you and uh, also uh, you can every time find a place where you can uh, sleep or something in Europe like if you don't have place to sleep it's uh, uh, not like uh, super usual to ask people oh sorry can I can yeah. have a tent in your garden or something but in Asia it's uh, super simple and yeah people are more welcoming here yeah. and yeah it's quite interesting she just said it's much safer in Asia than Europe interesting like I never knew that what have you learned during your solo travel and would you recommend other women to travel alone I would recommend to travel alone to all people, even if you're a woman. Yes. Um, so what I learned in my solo trip is when you 
uh, travel in Iran, you now stick to another people's schedule. For example, you don't need to wait somebody who just wants to sleep longer, or you don't need to wait somebody who wants to take breakfast longer, or so on. It's amazing. You make your own arrangement, arrangements for your own, for your interest, for what you want to do. And that's amazing. Uh, and what's another thing this is that you can turn your loneliness to solidity. This is very important. And another thing is... Uh, so I think this is a good time to be with yourself, to be one-to-one -one with yourself. To know you better, to know your thoughts, your mind, and that's really good. Yeah, so if you want to know more about yourself, you should go and travel alone because all the decisions you will make when you travel solo is all about you and one day this experience will help you to know more about yourself and maybe get a better perspective about yourself and make better decisions about your life after your trip. What have you learned by traveling alone and would you recommend other women to travel alone? Sometimes uh, if you're nervous about something, you can just relax and ask somebody about uh, ask ask people to help you, and uh, everything will be easy. Uh, you don't need to try uh, uh, to solve your problem alone every time. You can ask somebody, and uh, it's much more easy. And everything will be easy. So, do you recommend other women to travel alone? But in Asia. Yeah, yeah, but in Asia. Wow, that's interesting. She's recommending women to travel alone in Asia. <laughs> What's the best thing about traveling mm -hmm. or traveling alone? So I think the best thing in traveling alone is when you travel alone, you actually have to conversate with people. So sometimes when you travel in couple or company, you can say, hey, Go, go to reception and ask something. Yeah. But when you travel alone, you have to do that because you don't have anybody with you. So you have to connect with people and sometimes it can be really good friendship and these people can stay with you for all your life. And it's amazing. So yeah, you will get to meet a lot of new people on your trip and these people will always be with you. And yeah, it's amazing to meet new people especially even for me when i was traveling alone i met all these people here and yeah it's quite amazing like and also one of the most interesting things about dasha is that she has a master's degree in rock climbing <laughs> that's one of the most fascinating things i have ever heard so what is a master's degree in rock climbing and why did you do it why did you do it uh, i don't know because i uh rock climb for all of my life yeah and uh, i like rock climbing and uh, uh, sometimes i uh, before i worked as a rock climber uh, coach yeah. and i decided that it's uh, good to be uh, to have uh, some education in this area and uh, for me it was super easy to graduate this university and yeah. uh, that's why i decided to do it and also it was interesting and uh, maybe a little bit unusual and uh, i uh, wrote a well, uh, some paper about uh, interesting topic for me about rock climbing and, and about uh, fairs of rock climbing. Okay. Uh, because it's really interesting sport. Because like uh, in football, you are not uh, afraid of uh, doing something during your uh, your training every yeah. day. But during rock climbing, if you climb, you are already scared because you can fail and uh, you can die or something. And uh, it's like uh, another sport, like extreme sport, and it's really interesting. Wow. A master's degree in rock climbing. So this was taught in a university, right? Yes, yes. A university. proper university. In, in, in normal, normal university. Yes. Wow, interesting. Like I have never heard of a master's degree in rock climbing, <laughs> but and it, this is very unusual for me. But it's it's okay because like uh, uh, in my course I have a lot of people uh, with different kind of sport like rock climbing, like. Uh, paragliding, uh, volleyball, football, wow. and everybody were in the same place okay. and we studied the same topic but uh, we uh, wrote the different uh, works uh, about each sport. 
a very important question now and what are the difficulties which women face when traveling alone so yes of course there is some difficulties because uh, i can say that the women weaker than the men and it's not really sometimes it's not really safe for women to i don't know to for example to stay in a tent i don't know in a forest somewhere uh, because it's like I don't know, maybe we're not enough strong or it's like... It's easy to make threat to women than to men. Okay. <laughs> and I think also that women, they need a more comfort than the men. So we need like a shower every day and oh. you know... Uh, hey, even we need a shower. <laughs> and so on, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not easy to, I don't know, to like live in a tent or live in a camp or something like that. It's, yeah, it's... Of yeah, course, that is true. Magic. Like, men can live in tents anywhere. Like, if you find a small forest or a small space anywhere, yeah. we can just tent anywhere. Personally, I don't like to do that, but... Yeah, I won't say like camping anywhere for women is safe. So women need a little bit of more comfort than men. Yeah, that's true. And we need a lot of cosmetics for face, you know, yeah. A, little, a lot of makeup. <laughs> Not a lot. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and in the end, there are many things to learn by traveling alone, especially if you want to get away from your normal life. I think women should travel alone and explore and learn more about themselves instead of about, instead of focusing on your own life in your own city you should go out explore and maybe then you will have a fresh perspective on life also i have a very special announcement today uh, it's a very important one because if you have been watching this series about vietnam or my channel if you have been following ever since we started back in goa so the new announcement is that I am starting a new project and this project is not going to be about travel it's going to be about people and people's stories so I'm going to interview some normal people on the streets about very interesting topics so yes I'm very excited for this new project and yes that's the new announcement so make sure you stay tuned so that you can watch the new episode and do not forget to subscribe if you want to help me out all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below and i will see you in the next episode also i'm going to link their instagram accounts of yana and dasha in the description below if you want to follow them and follow their journey you can do that so go in the link below and you can follow them